So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a 2D rain animation in Blender. So first of all, when you open Blender, you're going to see this screen and you have to choose 2D animation. And this will open this new workspace. And if you forgot to do that, you can go to File, New and choose 2D animation. It's the same thing. So when you choose 2D animation, you have this stroke. The name is stroke, but it's a grease pencil object. By default, you get that. Uh, but you can just delete this, click on the stroke and press delete on your keyboard. And you can go to add. You are on object mode by default. So you have this option called add. If you are not in object mode, you have to go to object mode. Okay. By the way, when there is nothing, it's just object mode. So don't worry about that. Go to add grease pencil and blank. If you zoom out with your scroll wheel on your mouse, you can see that there is this screen. So inside this screen, the animation is going to happen. This is the camera view. Okay, so we have this grease pencil. We have selected the grease pencil here, and um, once we have selected the grease pencil, it says G pencil. So once you have selected this, you can go to these options. You you see this uh, option? This is called object data properties, and if you click here, you see this layers. Okay. So by default, there is one layer already. You can double click and rename this. I would say sky. And then uh, to make any, uh, um, any changes in this thing, uh, this layer, I mean, if you want to draw or something, you need to be careful about this thing. You need to know about this material properties. Click here. By default, there is one material properties. I mean, material. You can just delete this by clicking on minus. Now, click on plus and click on new. It adds a new material. So, by default, it has stroke checked. We're going to uncheck this. We're going to check this fill. Okay. So, fill is the color of the entire shape stroke is just the color around the stroke uh, i mean uh, it, it is the color around the outline okay on the outline so here is the base color you can click here and then change the base color i'm going to change it to blue but still a little darker blue okay um and then i'm going to go to draw mode so you have this new tools here you can uh, choose box here click on box and drag like from top of this screen here box just drag like this and then once you are done release it and press enter okay now you can go to edit mode and fix something here so when you uh, press the scroll wheel on your mouse holding the shift key you just drag like this okay accidentally if you like to like this you can just click on this icon to toggle the camera view that's going to fix the problem and we are already in edit mode now you have to choose this select mode which is select only points now drag like this it's like the only left part and you can press g to grab and then x to make sure it just moves on the x-axis now we're going to just fix it so that just it's it's exactly on the 
edge. Click, and then you return. Uh, similarly, this down on the bottom here. G and Y. Oh, not sorry. G I G and Z. Z is up and down. So we're gonna adjust it up and down. Click. Okay. Uh, it should be okay. Yeah. Just gonna make sure that the the fill is the box. I mean the box um, fills up the whole camera. Okay. After that, I'm gonna go to this data properties object data properties, and I'm gonna click plus. So this would be a new layer, which which will be, let's say, land. Enter. Again, go to material properties, plus, and then new. Check the fill. Uncheck the stroke. Go to base color. Um, it's gonna be green. Okay. Go to draw mode again, and this time from just from here, you can do like this. Enter. Okay, um, so this is quite like straight. You can leave as it is, but if you want to make it look better, you can go to edit mode, go to select only points, click here, select one of the points, press G, and then like grab like this. Yeah, I uh, and G, and then grab like this okay and come back to object mode and let's see so this is the land we have created um, so you can go to the object data properties once again and uh, on the same uh, layer which is called land you can create something like house maybe okay you can go to draw mode and um, go to material properties plus new no stroke fill base color would be like mm, I don't know around like kind of yellowish mm. Or like brownish let's see and then with this box again it just like this enter again with this box draw like this press enter and um, this time you're gonna add one more material. No stroke fill and base color would be like brown. And gonna do this. Press enter. And you can also make a door here. Uh, sorry, maybe around here. Door here and window here. Right. 
we're gonna focus on animation this is gonna be this house is not gonna be as good as it should be but uh, you know we can we can just have this much doesn't matter you can go to edit mode and uh, if you select this selection mode select all stroke points click here and then if you click and grab by pressing G you can just grab like this okay okay this is good now if you want to adjust the points you're gonna select this one select only points and I'm gonna drag like this and G Oops, sorry all the uh, layers are selected so I'm just gonna select one by one holding the shift key and G like this what you can do is just click all of them and right click and then dissolve okay same here drag and select oh, that's not gonna work click select one by one right click dissolve and click one of the point grab and then this or maybe you can just dissolve this one too yeah and you can just adjust this one here so you get the idea uh yeah you know, just dissolve there like this So this is not looking good at all, but uh, I'm just going to delete this one, maybe. Yeah, that would be better. Okay, so I'm just going to do this now. Okay, that's, that's going to be okay. So this is the scene I have created. So now I'm going to create the rain. So to create rain, I'm going to go to object data properties and press, I mean, click plus and then add this layer, renaming, uh, rename it as uh, box. I'm going to go to material properties. I'm going to add one material new no stroke but fill and the base color can be black for now go to draw mode with this box tool i'm gonna go here and then draw and press enter we go to edit mode and I'm gonna adjust this. Oh, sorry. So the thing is, all the layers are selected, so I'm gonna lock the other layers, drag like this, and G and X like this. Looks good. Looks good. The top part. You go to top part G and then Z for the top and bottom.
We need to zoom in to make sure. Okay. And the bottom part at last. Okay. Okay. Looks good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm going to go to this material and go to this base color and choose this alpha and drag it all the way to 0. So there is a box but that's not going that's not going to be visible. Now go to this layers and add one layer this is going to be rain so after after that what we're going to do is mm, zoom in a little bit mm. okay uh that's fine so i'm going to go to draw mode uh I'm going to add new material plus new and then this time we're going to choose stroke base color would be white there's no fill on the stroke this time I'm going to use this draw tool so if you draw like this it's going to draw like this uh, you can use mouse if you are using mouse just adjust the strength make it a little less you know into that you know like this you can hold the shift key and then go like this okay uh but it looks better with uh pen you know drawing pen if you have drawing tablet or drawing pen whatever you have that's gonna work better like if i draw like this okay Strength. Strength here and then like this. Okay. So you just draw like this. Don't worry about the like size, it's gonna look could eventually uh, so just try to make it as straight as possible but it's not a big deal okay So make sure it covers all the area okay not just right or left or up and down top and bottom you know just just the strength here and then again just like this you can also adjust the radius that's the size of the brush uh, to give the look of uh, perspective. Yeah. Like if I go radius like this, it's gonna give a bigger shape. Something like this. Okay. Some of the drops are gonna be bigger than the other because they are uh, kind of closer to the camera okay I have pen pressure so I can just do it with the pen pressure for mouse user it should be the radius okay Uh, 
it could be 20. Okay. So basically, you have this rain like this. It's going to take a little bit of time, but at the end, it's going to look good. Okay. Okay. So after that, what we're going to do is um going to go to object data, data properties uh i'm going to go i'm going to go to this box click here and duplicate i'm going to go to rain click here and duplicate so what i'm going to do is the second box 001 is going to go up so click here the up arrow so now the second uh, sorry uh, what did I do Oops, yeah the rain would be on top the rain 001 should go on top the box should go on second okay second from the top okay so we adjust this in a way that there is box and rain and then box and rain okay the four layers so now i'm going to go to this layers and log the layers except the box 001 and rain 001 and i'm going to go to edit mode press a to select all g and then z okay G and Z. Also Z. Um, okay, something is not working. I'm not sure what happened here. Mm, press A first. It's not selecting the rain. Um, okay. So rain is not duplicated. I'm not sure why. So I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, I'm gonna delete this, and I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to rain, and then duplicate this. Okay. Okay. Now if I go up here, yeah. Now it is visible again. Press A, G, and then Z. Again, Z. Sorry. Z. What happened here? G. Sorry. G and Z. G and Z. Zoom in. Okay. Looks good. Okay. After that. So I'm going to show this thing here. We have this timeline. It's a dope sheet, but still timeline. So what happens here is we are on um, by default we are on frame one. So this is the frame one. So I'm I'm going to unlock the rain and box. We're gonna keep the land and sky locked. Okay. I'm gonna go to frame. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna go to 10. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, press A to select all. G and then Z. Z. Again, G and Z. So this time it's going to be like this. Um, okay. So now what happens is if you go to draw mode
you can go to this wipe uh the fifth um fifth frame and go to draw in the pledge sequence and since the rain one is selected it only affects this part uh you can go to rain here the, another rain this layer and then draw and then interpolate sequence we can do both rain and box but since the box is uh invisible it's uh the opacity is zero we don't have to worry about that okay so now if you go to object mode and then play it's gonna look like this so what we can do is now we go to g pencil here grease pencil I had not uh, selected G, uh, grease pencil object before, so the thing here, the keyframes here were not shown. I was a bit confused, so you have to select this object, grease pencil object, okay? That's why. So now it's showing all the keyframes here. So when you do this, uh, this thing here, interpolate sequence, we see there's the key in between. I'll undo it so that you can see. Uh, if you go here, uh, so yeah. You don't see the uh, keyframe in between, in between keyframes. So on draw mode, if you go to draw and interpolate sequence, now it shows up. Okay, draw and interpolate. Okay, that's what we want. Now what you can do is you can, uh, in this key, uh, I mean this timeline area, you just press A, and then Shift D, and grab like this. Shift. D and grab like this, Shift D, grab, Shift D, grab, press G to grab, okay, like this, and it's your wish, you can just keep it long or short, eventually it's gonna loop, even if you keep this up to 10 frames, it's gonna loop, If uh, once you make this, you know, turn this into a video file so now there are more frames so if you go here you know these frames are not going to work so they're not going to animate so we have the animation till frame 90 so here you have this end option and in the end i'm going to type 90 so the 90 would be the last frame after 90 it's going to go to 1 instead of going to 91 and 92 so if you play you can uh, press here uh, click on play or just press space bar so that's going to look like this okay so um, one thing i forgot to tell you is uh, um your screen must be looking like uh something like something like th something like this i don't know how to s oh it's since it's like white color it's not it's gonna be any problem otherwise the the drawings are gonna go out of the frame um, I'm gonna show you I need to show this I, I guess uh, if you go to grease pencil and if you yeah I'm like this um, If you go to draw mode and if you select 
this thing here. Okay, if you do this, it's gonna show up here, you know, it's out of frame. So if you go to this camera, uh, on object mode, first go to object mode, select camera, and here, here's this camera icon, select here, and you have to adjust this pass per talent. If you go all the way to one, it's not going to show the you know something that's out of frame okay so that's the thing when you see the final you, you want to look at the final animation you go to turn it to one okay like this okay so i'm just gonna get rid of the drawing here that's that thing we don't need here so just play like this now we're just gonna go here uh, okay so yeah this is the result this looks like it's raining so yeah um i hope you like this video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel